famous mini brands are back on the table. Hi guys, it's Dan from Squirrel Stampede, and today we have a huge unboxing thanks to Zuru sending over a huge case of 24 Five Surprise Famous Mini Brand Series 2 to open. What is your favorite brand? It is probably in here. Anything from Jell-O to Miracle Whip and so much more. We have a lot to open. There's five surprises per every sphere, so let's get right to the madness of the grocery store hunt. Squirrel Stampede! Please swipe, squirrel, and squirm it! Is there 941,000 mini brands? We begin with our first ball of mini brands. Series 2 Table Squirrel is here to hold. Each spear should five surprise us with many different mini brands of awesome. What do we have in here? Pop the top, and here we go. We start today, oh right off, with a collector's guide and feta cheese. Cool Whip, a shopping tote, a box of artisan nut thins, and a box of mac and cheese. Oh, whoa, the squirrels are very interested in those artisan nut thins. Okay guys, disperse a little bit, disperse. Let's look at what we have. So if you recall these from series one, these famous mini brands are super detailed. Box of mac and cheese, there's our cheese. Some of the containers will be plastic and very nicely built. Others will be cardboard boxes, but even those feel nicely built. They're so highly collectible, and the more you get, the bigger the store you build. So our guide for Mini Brand Series 2, we are going to be looking for five super rare gold mini brands, blue diamond almonds, A1 sauce, glow-in-the-dark almond milk, there will be some rare metallic groceries, and a bunch of commons. We've already checked off a few on our list, and a few more over here on the back of the list. And we've got a tote and a shopping cart to build. And let's see if we could build what is this. I think it's a tote. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Wow, it's even got little rolly wheels and a handle on it for carrying it about the store. And this back handle can lower and raise. That's pretty quality. So place in your items and continue on the shopping. Catch, table squirrel. Nice grab. All right, what's next on our list? Lunchables. Kool-Aid. Possibly shelf displayer. And some original taco mix. And some Miracle Whip. Always have to have some Miracle Whip. There's the Kool-Aid. These are such great plastic recreations. They're so dead on. Look at this little tray of Lunchables. Pepperoni pizza, huh? So then, what is this thing? I think it's a, oh, maybe it's the cart. Well, let's construct it and see what it is. And to construct it, a small sized displayer. These displayers make this collection so much more fun. As you can start building your own store, they should be able to fit everything you need on them. Okay then, time for our next ball. Ready table squirrel. You're really good at that. And opening up. And inside, more taco original. More whipped of cool. Oh, here's something new. Sweet relish. <gasps> Whoa, Frank's Red Hot Original. And pure vanilla extract. So another round of really good finds. I love the pure vanilla extract. That just seems so random. The Frank's Red Hot Original bottle is huge. Sweet relish. Look at how detailed the toppers of these are. Oh, even on the back, all that fine print detail. More taco mix and some Cool Whip. 
What? What do you see, tiny chipmunk squirrel? Oh, that's just moose squirrel hanging out with the Goomba. I don't think that's a big deal. Anyhow, another great round of product. Ready for the next round table, squirrel? Let's do this. There we go, nice catch. Caramels. Another box of Lunchables. More Miracle Whip. Another shelf displayer. And, ooh, pickles, Glossin pickle spears. Building up that displayer. There it is. By the way, there are two stickers for the shelf displayers. You can flip them to have either one on the front or back. That way, when you stage them next to each other, they look and appear just a little bit different. Gots to love the Clausen Pickle Spheres, though. Nicely done on this one. It almost looks like they are inside the jar. The Lunchables tray, too. Such an honored mention. Just look at this insane fine print. Nutrition fact serving size, one package. Calories, 310 calories from fat. Total fat, 22%. Ingredients, pizza crust, wheat flavor, and a whole bunch of other tiny words. So amazing how small they may print. Getting a little crowded in here. Good thing we have some organizational shelves. Table squirrel ready. And we move on to our next ball. <gasps> Bacon bits. Oh, crushed red pepper. Not what I was thinking. Zatarans, red beans and rice. More Heinz sweet relish. This is a very flavorful pack. Ooh, this is new. Classico tomato and basil. And <gasps> bacon. Last time we had a lot of fun with bacon. It's amazing how some of these just look perfect out of the package. There's the McCormick's crushed red pepper, Zatarain's box, Oscar Myers. Naturally hardwood smoked bacon. These were some of my favorites from series one just because you can kind of feel the bacon in there, the little layering of these packages. It's just so real and lifelike. You could feel like you could open it up and find strips of bacon. It's so real. So those are typically some of my favorites. Zatarans has a little bit of box damage there, but I think we could fix it out. More great brands to fill our shelves with. Feels like a lot more foodie items this time. Last time we had a lot of shampoo, conditioner, items like that. Ready, table squirrel? Oops. There we go. Bagel bites. Another tote, I believe. Oh, right on, some A1 steak sauce. Bull's Eye Barbecue. This is the steak pack, apparently. And some stovetop chicken. All good meals for a barbecue. So we'll move these tote pieces aside, build a little later. There's our stovetop. Ooh, tippy. A1 steak sauce. That's my favorite of this group. I can see a lot of toys using this A1 steak sauce. Ah, oh, A1 original sauce. Or what I like to call it, Autobot 1. Okay. Our store is doing really well with half a dozen spheres open so far. Lots of very yummy surprises. Still looking for the gold super rare. Will we find something? Let's continue. Ready to go, table squirrel. 70 plus minis to collect. Maxwell House coffee. Philadelphia cream cheese. Heinz 57 sauce. Oh, I think our first shopping cart. And organic thyme. I don't know what that is. Is it thyme or thyme? I don't know on that one, but it looks so real. You can see like the granules of thyme thyme inside. Great container of Maxwell House coffee, even though I hate coffee, I call it dirty water. That looks so real. And the Philadelphia cream cheese. Heinz 57 sauce looks tasty. <laughs> Mega John's favorite. There are 57 ways to kill an Autobot. <laughs> okay. Most importantly, we have our first shopping cart built. So let's see what that looks like. I like the look of the new shopping cart. 
kind of like a basket inside a basket. You don't need to have the yellow thing inside and then you have another shopping cart there. And there's a nice bin on the ground to move things about. Here's Series 1 shopping cart. Both of them really nice. I would say Series 2 a little easier to build. Series 1 you could probably fit more items in the main bin, but they are both looking really great. French's crispy fried onions. Organic paprika. Whoa, what is this? Unexpected. Are these little paper bags? Crystal light. Oh my goodness, we used to drink crystal light back in the day. And some more bullseye barbecue sauce. Interesting finds in this one. The French onion pack is pretty large for mini brands. I love all these spices. They look so cool and interesting looking, crystal light. And sure enough, on the guide, there are some bags to collect. I did not notice that. A couple mini brands bags. And they are of high paper quality. Thick cardstock goes into building these little bags. They look great. And of course, fill your groceries up inside them. I feel like the five surprises are even greater this time around in series two. I'm constantly surprised here. More Classico tomato basil. You really need two of those when you have any big spaghetti meal, right? Oh yes, there's always room for jello. No way, the almond breeze milk. More crystal light to wash that down too. And, oh this is different, gourmet garden chunky garlic. One of these chocolate almond breezes glow in the dark, but this is not the one. More crystal light. I like the tube look of this chunky garlic. More tomato sauce, and there's the jello. Some of these boxes have kind of got dinged up, but again, I think we can repair them. Blue diamond smokehouse almonds. Then we have some Italian, zesty Italian from Kraft. More Kool-Aid, Velveeta cheese, and some more sweet relish. Is sweet relish in the lead right now? I think sweet relish is. Three sweet relishes in stock. Once again, the squirrels are very interested in the blue diamond almonds. I could almost feel like this top is a nice plastic topper to open up to fresh almonds. More Kool-Aid, Velveeta cheese, Liquid gold indeed. Zesty Italian, some salad dressing has entered the house. What, what, what? Uh, all I see is gold mecha squirrel spinning. Why does he keep interrupting me? Chicken stock, kitchen basics. So many odd items. Country time, pink lemonade. Ooh, more Cool Whip. Thousand Island, and force in garlic and herbs. And there's a lot of product on the table. This fear makes for a dozen. Let's see what we have. More salad dressing, zesty Italian. Philadelphia cream cheese, coffee, shopping cart, and, oh, that's new, ground cinnamon. Yeah, the spices are some of my favorites of this time around in series two. And we've gone through a dozen of these now. I really want to see who wins the most product award in a shelf displayer of 24. 12 more to go, let's go for it. Gloss and pickle spheres. Stove top. Back to the beginning with the feta cheese. Some more French onions. And organic paprika. Next up. Mac and cheese. Ooh, Ball Ray seasoned salt. Red hot. Room for more jello. And a pack of caramels. Bullseye. Claws and pickles. Golden Grinkles French fries. Classical tomato and basil. And cheese dippers, the laughing cow. Look at this awesome bag of Golden Crinkles fries. It even crinkles. This is getting pretty intense. Who's gonna win the three-way tie? Thousand Island Dressing. Cool Whip. Country Time Pink Lemonade. Vanilla Pure. 
More Maxwell House coffee, another three-peat. So many three-peats. Although, for some reason, Coolip. Hmm, could have sworn we had Coolip before. Where did it go? Wait, where did that one go? Oh, where does the Cool Whip keep going? I, I really think that was four. Cool Whip should be in the lead. Well, let's keep going. Whoops. Red Hot. More Laughing Cow Cheese Dippers. Chicken Stock. Sharp Cheddar, that's new. And Cool Whip. Okay, Cool Whip is definitely taking the lead now. There has to have been about four or five of these. Wait, what? Oh, that's just Dick Monkey. He's always up there. Okay, now, now where was I? I lost my train of thought. Blue Diamond Almonds going flying. More vanilla extract, there's three of those. Clausen Pickles takes the lead of four. More Zatarans, beans and rice. And finally, some feta cheese. So the Clausen Pickles spears are going up in numbers. More Golden Crinkles. Classical tomato sauce. They're at four. Taco sauce. That's at three, I think. And pure vanilla extract. Really coming from behind the pure vanilla extract. And finally, some more French onions. This is becoming insanely difficult to organize. Klassen pickles, classical tomato, and pure vanilla at four apiece. We have five. Five more. Five surprise mini brown series two to go. Here we go. More shopping bags. Old Bay seasoning. Our organic thyme time. More garlic stuff. And laughing cow. Caramels. A1 sauce. Autobot one. <gasps> Pickle bite sparkle. This is a rare metallic item. I was starting to get a little worried we were not going to see anything rare or super rare. Last time we got lots of golden items and this time we've been pretty much denied of all rarity. But there we go, the Bagel Bites number 10 with the super rare metallic finish. So glad we could share something rare. More Kool-Aid. And finally, another box of Borsin garlic and herbs. Three left. A1, Autobot 1, Kool-Aid, where did the other one go? Thousand Island, more Borsin, Garlic and Herbs, and some chicken stock. I swear Kool-Aid should be around number four or five too by now. More Thyme Time Seasoning, Heinz 57. <laughs> Ooh, what? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Everybody stay calm! Stay calm! We found it! Almost at the very end! A super rare gold product! And it's the blue diamond almonds, no less! One of the squirrel's favorite! Oh my goodness, there it is! Shiny gold! Metallic, super rare, how awesome is that? What number is Blue Diamond? Number three, this is number three in the rare. Oh, I'm so thankful to show you guys a super rare. I didn't think it was going to happen. We got all the way down to the 23rd. The 23rd spear at the very end. A low sodium, by the way. Uh, at the very end, and there it is. Oh, yes. I was going to be so bummed if we couldn't share a super rare gold. And if you're curious, on the other super rare golds, there was ketchup, mustard, A1, and Baby Bell also out there to find super rare. Well, let's finish off. What else do we get? Figure out who has the most items. Getting back to the artesian nut thins. And more Maxwell House coffee.
All right, here it comes, our 24th Sphere 2 Dozen Mini Brand Series 2. This will possibly determine which product is the most of today. Our final ball. We begin. Thousand Island Sauce. That's four of those. Crushed Red Pepper. Two of those, I think. Jello! Always room for Jello. That was our third. Heinz Sweet Relish returning to number four. And our final, final mini brand of today. Woohoo! More Smoked House Almonds from Blue Diamond. That is so cool. Oh, and hang on a second. Overtime, if you have a keen eye, remember the shelf box displayer had some items. So let's get that out. I wonder if at the store, if you claim the shelf displayer, do you get these items? Lunchables, more McCormick ground cinnamon, more bagel bites. Oh, it recalls the metallic ones we had found. Jello goes to four. Four jellos and four feta cheeses for today. But where, oh where is the Cool Whip? I don't get it, I don't get it. You all saw me open five Cool Whips, right? I could have sworn I counted five Cool Whips. Hey, were you responsible for the Kool-Aid too? <laughs> this channel is so weird sometimes. And that is the Zero Mini Brand Series 2 unboxing. Wow, that is a lot of mini brands. What is your favorite? There are so many in here. Thank you again, Zuru, for sending over this huge crate of mini brands to open. It was super fun. Oh, there's also a Famous Brands Mini Mart store, so hopefully I can get a look at that in the coming weeks and we can fill it up with all these great products. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, and a squamant so we can talk about all our favorite Famous Mini Brands products. What is your favorite product? Please leave in the comments. Thank you for watching and that's what I have to say about that.